In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on August 27, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Oakland Athletics vs. Chicago White Sox The White Sox won Game 3 of this series and in Game 4 looked to salvage a split after losing the first two games. Before losing Game 3 of this American League series, the A's won the first two games and four of five games. They still have the worst record in baseball and not surprising since they ranked dead last in the majors in both runs scored and team earned run average. While the White Sox won Game 3 of this series, they had lost 10 of their previous 13 games. They are well out of the playoff picture with the third fewest wins in the American League. The White Sox have lost four of their last six games. Despite their slump, they are playing well offensively, scoring 14 runs in their last three games. Even though Blackburn has done a good job on the mound in recent starts, giving up six runs in his last three starts, he has struggled against the White Sox with a 0-3 record and four starts against them. He gave up 14 runs in those starts and with Oakland having the worst bullpen in the league, they will have a hard time slowing down the White Sox in this game. The Athletics have won four of their last five games, but they've lost five of their last eight road games. They are also playing well offensively and scored 20 runs in their last three games. But they will struggle offensively in this game because they haven't hit the ball well against right-handers and Clevinger has done a good job on the mound in recent starts, giving up nine runs in his last six starts. He gave up five runs in his last three home starts and will keep Oakland's offense in check. Both of these teams are well out of the playoffs and the A's were playing pretty well before a loss in Game 3 of this series. However, they still have the worst record in baseball and have scored the fewest runs. They will not get many in this game facing Clevinger, who was not sharp in his last outing but was in the previous two home starts. Look for him to pitch well against an Oakland lineup that only scored two runs in the last game. Blackburn has also been pitching well and he will have a decent start but then hand the ball to the A's bullpen, which ranks dead last in the majors in bullpen earned run average. So the Chicago White Sox money line is our full game side pick. The total went over for the first two games of this series but under for the last one. The A's were solid at the plate in the first two games of this series but only scored two runs in the last game. Clevinger was not solid in his last start but was facing a good Seattle lineup and he will bounce back in this game and keep the Oakland lineup in check. Blackburn has been pretty good on the mound as of late and will be okay in this game but the A's bullpen will struggle. Don't look for many players to cross the plate in this game. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Texas Rangers vs. Minnesota Twins The struggling American League West co-leading Texas Rangers complete a four-game series Sunday on the road at Target Field against the American League Central leading Minnesota Twins. Texas was defeated by Minnesota 12-2 on Friday in the second game of a four-game series. The Rangers have lost eight straight and have been caught by the Seattle Mariners, with both now tied for the American League West lead. Minnesota's victory on Friday was at second straight and the Twins hold a six-game lead at the top of the American League Central. The Rangers take on the Twins in the final game of their four-game series. The Twins won the first two games, but the Rangers bounce back in Game 3 and now have a chance to split the series. Both the Rangers and the Twins are atop their divisions, but the Twins have a six-game lead, whereas the Rangers are tied with the Mariners and are only one game ahead of the Astros. The Rangers will start Jordan Montgomery, who has a 3.42 earned run average through 21 starts with a 6-9 record. Montgomery is a solid pitcher in a good rotation and has advanced statistics around the league average. He will be opposed by Bailey Ober for the Twins, who has a 3.41 earned run average through 21 starts with a 6-6 record. Ober walks only 5.2% of batters he faces and has a 3.82 expected earned run average. Texas is going through a big struggle as the Rangers have lost 8 straight following Friday's loss in the opening game of this series, but Texas has won 6 of its last 8 when playing against American League Central teams. Texas Rangers starting pitcher Jordan Montgomery has had 4 solid 
start since joining the club at the trade deadline. The left-hander has allowed five earned runs across 26 innings. Minnesota starter Bailey Ober has allowed 16 earned runs across the last 24 innings pitched, and Minnesota has lost three of the five games during that span. Minnesota leads the American League Central, but injuries are beginning to take their toll on the Twins lineup as Minnesota is playing without Alex Kirilov, Willie Castro, Byron Buxton, Nick Gordon, and Jose Miranda, along with a host of starting and relief pitchers. Montgomery has tossed his strongest on the road this season and is holding foes to their lowest collective batting average at .234. While that average has ticked up in August, he still eliminated home runs and has maintained a strong earned run average. The Twins have struggled against lefties all season, and even with their strong August hitting, their daytime hit rate is a split low. Ober has been all over the map in August, and that will be what the Rangers need to get back in the win column. So the Texas Rangers money line is our full game side pick. The Rangers have been in a skid. They are 1-8 in their last nine games and 1-5 in their last six road games. Their offense still ranks as one of the best, though, with an average of 5.61 runs per game and a best in the American League .457 slugging percentage. Despite that, they have scored three or fewer runs in six of their last ten games. The Twins are 5-5 in their last ten games and their offense has scored five runs or more in five of their last ten games. They have hit the over in five straight games and four of their last five at home. Despite the Rangers' struggles, they have also hit the over in four of their last five games, including all three in this series. The Rangers' offense has the firepower to score runs even if they haven't been doing that as much recently, and the Twins' offense has been hot. Don't get me wrong, Jordan Montgomery's pitched really well since being acquired by the Rangers, but the Twins have hit lefties very well in August, and I think they could get to Montgomery here. On the other side, Ober's been fairly consistent for the Twins this season, but he's been prone to leave pitches up in the zone at times and once Ober and Montgomery leave, these are two of the worst bullpens in baseball in the last couple of weeks. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. San Diego Padres vs. Milwaukee Brewers The San Diego Padres will play the Milwaukee Brewers in Game 3 of their series on Sunday afternoon at American Family Field in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The Brewers have won the first two games in this series by scores of 7-3 and 5-4. Milwaukee has a nice lead in the National League Central, while the Padres are looking towards next season. The Padres come into this game with a 26-36 record on the road and will be taking on the first-place Brewers, who are 37-27 at home. San Diego has had one of the best team earned run averages in all of baseball, but their lineup hasn't been able to consistently produce. The Padres are starting Michael Wacha, who has allowed four earned runs in his last five starts. The Brewers are starting Adrian Hauser, who has allowed eight earned runs in his last three starts. The Padres are just one of those teams that finds ways to lose and have no sense of urgency despite their season slipping away. The Brewers are showing the complete opposite with seven straight wins, and they're starting to pull away in the division race. While you can argue the Brewers should be favored with Michael Wacha on the mound, I'm not stepping in front of the Brewers and this hot streak, especially with the Padres going through the motions. So the Milwaukee Brewers' money line is our full game side pick. San Diego entered Saturday having seen the under post a 70-52-7 mark in their 129 games on the season. The Padres put up an average of 4.49 runs per game, which is 16th in the league. They average a solid 4.83 runs per game on the road this season, which is 10th in the majors. San Diego has an average total of 8.53 runs per game on the year, a number that climbs to 9.24 runs per game on the road this season. Milwaukee entered Saturday having seen the under post a 66-57. 57 to 5 mark in their 128 games this season. The Brewers are 21st in the majors in runs per game with 4.37 runs per contest, though that number bumps up to 4.62 runs per game at home. Milwaukee has an average total of 8.63 runs per contest, and that number edges up to 8.83 runs per game at home. Both starters are pretty much five and dive guys now, so this one could end up with some dings off the bullpens. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.